Pakistan only wants peace and stability in Afghanistan. It's a sovereign country. We have to accept that there is a reality there. That's not of Pakistan's making. But now we must do the right thing in terms of where things must head in Afghanistan. Okay. Pakistan has a right to defend its national security. We will do that. We are engaged. We will engage on only one thing. How to secure my okay. country, so how to I... ensure peace and stability in Afghanistan. That is my right. It will continue. Let's get beyond these conspiracy theories and think about how to coordinate as the international community and help the average Afghan who is suffering, who doesn't have food, who's staring a humanitarian crisis in okay. the face. Let's so get on politics. Let's Maybe just be clear. Let's just... Absolutely nothing to do with the government. It's a sovereign country. There is a new reality. And anybody who wants to deal with it must do so directly. I found out from the television screens, uh, just like perhaps you did. So I want to be absolutely clear. I think we need to end this conversation okay. once and for all. If there is any country or a region that has leverage over the Taliban, it's the West. Uh, it's the West that's going to provide them or not provide them legitimacy and assistance, not Pakistan. So let's let's be clear about that. And we very much expect we've been public about this, that Afghan soil is not allowed uh, to be used by any sort of terrorists against any country. But as I told you, Pakistan, because of geography, bears most of the pain and the brunt for what comes out of Afghanistan. So, yes, we are worried. Mm. We are working on this. And we will ensure that Pakistan is not allowed to be uh, destabilized by any actor uh, in the region, in Afghanistan or in India that for 20 years has been working with uh, hostile intelligence agencies to do that. Uh, we are on it, but we will engage with Afghanistan to make sure that that doesn't happen.